Houston, we have a problem. Something I have not told you guys at all is that at one of the properties, we have um, a famous actor staying with us for about a month and a half. And they just let me know that they saw a mousy in the house and they have an infant and they are kind of freaking out, um, which rightfully so, I get it. Um, so I now have to figure this out and make sure that the house is mouse free and clean so they can feel comfortable being there. Um, which is really unfortunate because we've had the house for four years and we have never seen a mouse in that house ever. And um, now there is a mouse while a famous actor is staying there, of course. What is that law? Like Murphy's law? If something can go wrong, it will. Um, so unfortunately, that is what is on the docket for me to deal with today. Oh my God. So she just let me know that they are leaving. They are going to the city for uh, some family time and while I figure this out and then they're gonna come back in a couple days. So I have to call some exterminators and see like what you even do for this. Seriously, mouse, you had to do this right now. I have unfortunately seen a mouse in the house. What do you guys do to take care of that situation? And what do you typically charge for a service like that? thousand dollars and what and what does that include thank you for your time I will call you back if I need to schedule an appointment okay <laughs> thank you bye a thousand dollars to cut to like look at the house maybe put some spray foam up and put traps out are you kidding and they don't even spray no, thank you. Hi. Do you spray or do you, like, like, what is it? What are your services? 475 to, okay, to just like come out and, and then tell me how I can fix it. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye bye. <sighs> you are available that would be great what's like the course of action that I need to take to make sure that the house can be mouse proofed could you just tell me like what the price on that would be 250 okay um, and that includes like a, a spray for the exterior of the home as well um, can can I go ahead and schedule that with you so this is a prime example on why it is so important to call around and get estimates from like a lot of different companies. I called, I think four or five different companies. The highest bid was $1,000 and the lowest bid was 250 and he's gonna come out today at two o'clock. So let's head over there. I'm gonna swing by Home Depot first and pick up a few different items that I can do myself. Um, and then we're gonna meet the guy there at two o'clock. There's Snorkel Pig under there. Hi. Okay. They were mostly concerned with like mouse, like excrement, like poopy urine, uh, saliva, cause that can be really dangerous for babies. Um, so I'm gonna pull the couch out and wipe down like all the baseboards, all the corners where the mouse typically ran around when they saw it. So I'm gonna clean that, make sure it is super, super clean with some hot water and soap and some disinfectant, and then shampoo the rug with some disinfectant as well. So that is super, super clean for them too. get like so weird like I don't want to touch people's stuff but I, like I have to move it so I can clean and then I gotta put it back I don't know it's very weird but I think that's how it was <laughs> mm. 
So the pest control guy sprayed outside, but I got this stuff where I could spray inside. It's safe for pets and kids. I'm gonna spray this all around the rim joist and hopefully this helps as well. So I've made it back from the house. I have showered. I'm feeling pretty good that the house is sealed up really tightly and that we've done all of the preventative maintenance that we can to stop a mouse from coming in. So the guy looked around and he was like, you know, there's not really very many entry points where a mouse could come in. There was a couple like areas under the rim joist where he thought looked a little suspicious. So he ended up filling those with spray foam. Um, but I think where it came in was around the dryer vent. So before our guests had arrived, we knew they were gonna be staying with us for about a month and a half, and we wanted them to have access to laundry. So Mark and I ended up finishing out the entire basement, building out a laundry room, doing all of that jazz so they didn't have to go to the laundromat. That is a big reason why I've been very inconsistent in posting videos over the last couple months because we have been working so hard to get the house ready for them. Um, but the dryer vent, we drilled through the cinder block and cinder block is hollow and the way it's kind of stacked is if sometimes it can kind of create like a domino effect of like openings through the wall so we think that's kind of where it came in um so um he ended up putting some steel wool in the holes and then filling that with uh spray foam as well um but i had to crawl under the deck and spray foam it from the outside because he couldn't fit under the deck and I I hated that with every ounce of my being um so I ugh, it was the worst thing in the world I hate tight spaces I kind of had a mild panic attack but I ended up just getting it done so I crawled under there put some spray foam around the outside just to double double triple make sure that 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 the dryer vent was sealed from all angles so I'm guessing that that is where the mouse came in because we've never seen a mouse in the house and then as soon as we introduce the dryer vent a hole into the cinder block there's a mouse in the house so it's got to be it so the house feels good it feels sealed tight it feels clean there are mouse traps out there are bait stations out the interior of the house has been sprayed the exterior of the house has been sprayed every square inch of the floor and the baseboards and the walls has been disinfected and cleaned the rug has been shampooed so the house is clean um, I just hope to God that they don't see another mouse because that would be devastating. I mean, it's embarrassing enough that one mouse came in, um, but they are being super duper understanding. They're just being erring on the side of caution because they do have an infant, which I totally, totally get. But we have done everything that we can do, maintenance, prevention, all that kind of jazz. It feels tight, it feels sealed up. So I'm hoping that the problem has been solved and fixed and we don't see another recurrence. I wish I could tell you who the guests are that we have over there, but I don't know, I didn't have to sign an NDA or anything like saying that I couldn't say who it was, but just out of their respect for their privacy, I don't wanna share who it is um, and I don't really know how to ask, like, hey, can I tell my YouTube family like that you're staying here? I don't really know how to ask that and I feel like that's very awkward and very weird. So I'm just going to avoid that conversation. Um, but yeah, just out of like sheer respect for their privacy, um, I'm not going to share who it is. But if somehow in the future that conversation comes up and he's like, yeah, it's fine, um, then I will let you know. Um, but anyway, that was a full day. I am signing off. She's got the right idea. She's taking a nap or poo. He's just about out and I think I am going to join them. So thank you guys for joining me on today's fiasco of a day. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.